This video is sponsored by me? That's right, check out the brand new ePark Fishing Store on Etsy. You can support the channel by owning one of these hats, hoodies, or t-shirts. So you can find that link in the description of this video or go to eparkfishing.etsy.com. Hey, Elliot here with ePark Fishing. Today we're gonna take a look at how to troll lures from the shore and catch trout with a side planer. So a side planer has also been known as a $10 drift boat, and it's a really cool tool that not a lot of people use. You can use it from shore to get your lure out to where you might not be able to cast. So first of all, you're gonna want a long rod. You want a longer rod so that you can keep the line up above the water when it's out 100 yards, because there's gonna be a serious bow in it. So I've got a nine foot ugly stick GX2, and it's a medium. So it's got a little bit of flex on it. You want a little bit of flex for trout so that you have some touch and you don't set the hook through their mouth. And my reel is a Fluger President 2500 series and I've got it spooled with 20 pound braid and I'm gonna add a 14 pound leader to that as a bumper to a swivel and then I'm gonna use a five pound leader to a small spinner that I would never be able to cast very far I'm gonna see how far I can take it out and let that spinner sit there and hopefully get a bite. I know there are a lot of fish around here. So first thing I'm gonna do is tie on my 14 pound bumper and then I'll show you how to set up the side planer. And that is a swan. Hopefully it doesn't attack me. So I got my 14 pound ultimate mono and I'm just gonna pull out like 20 feet, so about 20 feet. And this stuff is pretty hard to cut with your teeth, so I'm gonna use a knife. I'm gonna attach my bumper with a triple surgeon's knot, super easy knot. All you have to do is lay the two lines on top of each other, make a loop with both the lines, and then you're gonna tie an overhand knot with that loop. Pull that bumper all the way through. One time, two times, and three. Make sure both the lines are, are going through there. That's what you have and you just wanna wet that down. Pull it tight. And there we go, got my bumper. So now we're gonna get this side planer out. So here's what it looks like. So you've got the body of the planer, and then you've got the arm, and then you've got two rudders that it comes with. One's for slow current and one's for fast current. So it's pretty slow here, I'm gonna use the big one. You want the rudder to be facing to the outside. So the rudder is gonna be on this side. Line goes through the metal loop and then through this loop down here, out through that eye on the back. That's how it goes. And this is gonna set. Wrap your mono around this nub three times, two or three times. And that's gonna set the trap and it's gonna look like this in the water, and then it's gonna float. And when you get a bite, it's gonna pull on the back. It's gonna release the loops, then it'll be free sliding, and you'll be able to fight the fish. And it says this side up. So it goes like this, and you slide it down here. Be careful, because that, that thing can break, and you're gonna put your rudder on. And be careful with that too, because that can break. And that's how it goes. And I like to put a swivel on because these things are about $14. I'll take a little barrel swivel and attach it to my 14 pound bumper. And that'll stop it from coming off. And the 14 pound line is strong enough that it won't break. So yep, I'm just gonna tie a fisherman's knot here. You can put a bead there too if you want, but this should this should be good enough. There you go. 
And I'm going to leave a pretty good tag on there because it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to take my 5x. And I'm going to do 10 feet of that. Then I'm going to tie that to the swivel. And that's what's going to go out to my spinner. So my spinner is going to be about 10 feet behind my side planer. And I'm going to start with this little Panther Martin. So tiny. I wouldn't be able to cast this more than about 10 yards. But I'm going to try to take it out like 100 yards. I don't think I've ever fished a Panther Martin and not caught anything. So there you go. I've got the side planer and a tiny little spinner that's going to be 10 feet behind it. And I'm going to troll that out as far as I need to. And I can move it around and just wait until I get a bite or wait until the side planer isn't sitting upright and it'll dive down like this sideways. And that's when I know it either hit a rock or a plant or a fish hit it. And then I'll start reeling it in. One, two, three. Just tight enough, but not too tight. So the most important thing when you're using a side planer is a steady current. Where I was just didn't have enough current to get the side planer to work. So I went to a second location and as soon as I got there, there was somebody fishing and they caught a really nice brown trout. So that was cool to see. Unfortunately, the current here was also too weak and there were a lot of weeds in the water. So the side planer just wasn't working. So I came back about a week later and the weather had been warmer. So the melt water was starting to come down the river and the current was stronger. So now we can get back to how to get the side planer to actually go out into the river troll your lure and cover lots of water. So the first thing you wanna do is drop your lure in the water and let it catch the current and then drop your side planer in the water and open your bale and palm the reel to keep tension on it and slowly let line out and let that side planer move laterally out into the river. So you just wanna work it at a 45 degree angle and just find a good lane where the current is consistent. So if you end up in really fast current, the side planer is going to turn over and you're not gonna get a good presentation. Right now I've got it out like 50 yards. Now I'm just gonna let some more line out and I just open the bale, keep tension on it and make sure that your lure is not going to get snagged up so if you see a rock remember that your lure might be like five or ten feet behind the side planer so it's pretty hot today i'm going to go over to the shade there's some shade out there at like 100 yards so and you can catch a fish while it's going out or while it's coming in anytime it's sitting there your lure is trolling So here's another tip. Whenever you put tension on the line, it's going to move the side planer laterally out into the river. When you use less tension, it's going to move farther downriver. So you can use that to control the side planer. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, it's definitely worth it. I got a fish. No way. All right, I gotta get my hands wet or this guy's definitely a goner. Thought I felt the bite. Always get your hands wet before you touch a fishy, any fish, but especially a trout. Oh, look at that. Pretty nice hook set. Really pretty. So I'm going to let that guy sit there for a second. Try to get my hands wet again because they're dry already. Look at that. And the Panther Mountain. Oh. Little ones are so squirrely. So I just caught the tiniest trout with the side planer. Didn't even know it was on, but I brought the side planer in and there was a little trout on it. So it definitely works. So there you have it. That's how you troll lures from the shore with the side planer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
So check it out, these hats here have the logo that I've been working on. And if you wanna buy one of these to support the channel, check out the link in the description and that would really be appreciated. If you wanna see more content like this, it'll help me have the funds to create that because it definitely takes effort and money to do these videos. So thank you in advance.